Welcome to part 7 of a Key Smash Studios Unreal tutorial. In the previous week, we set up a light that flashes to correspond the numbers that we want to open our final door, and it does this in Morse code. This week, we're going to be working on ray casting. So, to start, we're going to go ahead and go up to our project settings. And inside our project settings, we'll scroll down to input, and we're going to add a new action mapping, and we'll just call this ray. I'm going to connect it to my right mouse button. And all this is doing is saying whenever I click on the right, right mouse button, we're going to call a specific function with the tag of Ray. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and open our character controller. And then we're going to create a new function for our Raycast. And then we're going to bind this action Ray to that function. So we're going to go ahead and start in our character controller's header. We're going to add a new include, and this is simply just going to be a draw debug helpers h, and we'll use this later to debug a line to show where our raycast is going. So we'll go ahead and scroll down to our class, and we're going to create a private. And inside this, we're just going to create a function called raycast. Now we'll go ahead and go over to our .cpp. And we'll go ahead and we can add our new action and bind it to ray. And then we're going to connect it to our raycast function that we'll be creating. So now anytime the action that's binded to Ray, which is our right mouse button, anytime it's pressed, it'll call this function. So now I'll go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom, and I'm just going to copy this. And we'll go ahead and create our Raycast function. So to begin, we want to be able to get our hit result. So you're going to use an F hit result, and we'll just call it hit. It's just going to tell us at the end of our raycast what we've hit. So then we're going to go ahead and get our forward vector. We're going to connect this to our camera. So that way our raycast will go in the same direction that our camera is looking. So we're going to get world, get our first person controller, and then we're going to get our player camera manager. And then we'll get that actor's forward vector. Now we'll need a start and an end. So we'll create an F vector for our start. And this is simply just going to be the actor's location. I'm going to go ahead and change the height of our vector to be 300, so that way it's not starting at the bottom. And then we'll create the end. And what we're going to do for this is get our forward vector, give it a distance, so we'll multiply it by 1,000. And then we want to give it its start, so we'll just add the start onto it. Now we're going to need some collision parameters. And this will just let us know, this will let the Raycast know what we don't want it to collide into. And the one thing that we're going to have our collision parameters ignore is this. We don't want it running into our character. We don't want it running into our collider sphere for when we're picking things up. We want it to continue forward so that way we can find buttons later down. Now we'll go ahead and do some if statements so that way we don't get any null errors if, we, if there's something missing or if the raycast doesn't succeed. 
So we're going to first make sure that the Raycast worked and that it has a channel. So we'll give it a pointer to what it's hit. We'll give it the start of the Raycast, the end of the Raycast, and then the channel we'll just use static world. And then we'll pass it our collision parameters. And then if that succeeds, we want it to go ahead and draw a debug line so that way we can physically see what our Raycast looks like. We want to give it our start, our end, and then a color. I'm going to make it orange, and then we'll do true. And this will just show the line in the scene so that way we can see where it's hitting. And then we're going to make sure that we've hit an actor. So we're just going to check that it's not null. And if it's not null for now, we're just going to go ahead and debug the component's name. Later in here, we'll have it to where it checks to see what we've hit. And if it's one of the numbers, we'll put the numbers inside an array. And then if after the array is filled, if those numbers are the correct order, then we'll open the door. But for now, just to show that it works. We're going to get the name of the component. Now we can go ahead and compile this. So now that our compile has completed successfully, we'll go ahead and play. And then as you can see, when I click the right mouse button, we have our debug. And if I look up, the Raycast goes up. And then if we go over to our output, you can see that it's posting the component that it's hitting. So that's raycasting. Next time we'll be creating the buttons. So that way when you raycast, it'll tell you which, the but which button you're hitting and it will put it into the code to see if the door needs to be open. And if it is correct, the door will open and the game will be complete. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you next week.